The desert can be summed up in what I call the culture of wish. The culture of wish is saying that all this work, all this effort, all this energy you're putting into your business and into your life, or whatever it is, will be worth it someday, hopefully. Someday, all of this will pay off. One of the ways to identify if you're in the culture of the wish are a culture of wish are words like this. I'll do something fun once I catch up. Well, I can't do this now, maybe later. Someday I'll get to it. Now, here's a word that I hear a lot, and it may surprise you, that illustrates when you're in the culture of wish. The word is deserve. You deserve a break. You deserve to take time off. If you're in the desert, and you're trying to get through the other side, is water something that you deserve? That you give yourself for good behavior? Good job, you walk, now you get some water? That's absurd. Water is something that we require. And in the same way, we must establish an oasis in our day. Every single day. Not just in the distant, not just in some magical place when, when everything pans out or we have a little bit of time, but we must make it a priority to occur. When you do that, you have a reservoir of strength that you can count on. So an oasis is something that I talk about in The Power of Having Fun. It's a word that I had to create for something that really didn't exist in the English language. It's a meaningful, planned break as defined by you, and it, it, it sums up all of these concepts, fun, play, refreshment, enjoyment, reward, recharging, chillaxing, all of it into one little tasty tidbit. Let's return to these two stories that I began with for just a moment. When the business owner exposed his secret to me, one of the things that he said, this is word for he said, you're going to tell me I need to stop playing video games, aren't you? I said, no, we're not gonna, I'm not going to tell you to stop playing video games. I'm going to tell you to get smarter about it. I'm going to tell you to make it a priority. And so one of the things that we did was we created a schedule for him to enjoy what for him was an oasis. The problem wasn't that he wasn't taking time to have fun. He was doing it haphazardly. He was doing it in a chaotic way, jumping in and out, here and there, trying to sneak it in because he felt guilty about it, because he didn't deserve it. Instead, we made it a priority and put it into the schedule a bit like this. So that at the end of his work day, he spent time playing Warcraft and then returned home. This one little change cut his hours from 80 to 60 almost overnight. But he did not feel deprived. Why? Because it was a priority. And not only that, but his relationship with the people that he loved and cared about when he went home improved. Which, by the way, improves how well he performed the next day at work. This is something called the work home resources model. Something that was talked about in applied cognitive psychology. There was a study about this. When you have strong relationships with people at home, you perform better at work. If you want your children, if you have children, to perform better at school, give them strong relationships at home. It goes back and forth. The second story, I talked to this couple who was just talking about work. And I said, stop. Let's just talk for a second. What's something that you two like to do together for fun? They were kind of confused for a second because it had been so many years since they had thought about just doing something together rather than talking about work. And they looked at each other and they kind of sheepishly said, well, we like Survivor. I said, you mean the TV show? Yeah, we like to watch the, we watch the reruns of that. We like to watch that. I said, great. Let's make Survivor a priority in your schedule. And so they created this moment every single day where they took a moment to watch reruns of Survivor together. And that little thing 
had a massive impact, not only in their marriage, but in their business, because it gave them something to talk about other than work. This is what it means to have an oasis, to create these things on your own. And guess what? No one is going to give it to you. You must create it for yourself. No one is going to hand this to you. You must build it into your schedule. Dave Crenshaw is a top-rated speaker on productive leadership. He provides keynote addresses and workshops for events around the world. To inquire about Dave's availability for your event, visit DaveCrenshaw.com forward slash speaker.